This video shows a pin-ended column of intermediate slenderness being tested in compression. The specimen is a rectangular hollow section made from structural steel. The length has been chosen such that there is an interaction between the failure of the material and failure by buckling instability. The loading diagram shows a purely axial compressive force evenly applied to both ends of the specimen. The testing rig is now starting to apply a compressive force to the specimen. We can see the top end displacing and the column begins to deflect sideways as a result of structural instability, which is better known as buckling. The shape of the column is theoretically a half sine wave. However, as the loading progressive, this shape distorts as material damage takes hold. The deformation begins to localize a midspan. Once this occurs, the column begins to lose its load can capacity and failure ensues. This particular phenomenon starts in the elastic range, but structural failure is due to a combination of geometric and material effects. Turning the specimen to the side, you can see that the deformation has localized the midspan of the specimen in a plastic hinge. At the beginning, the graph shows a linear relationship between force and displacement. In this range, no sideways displacement has occurred. When this graph reaches a peak, however, this is the point at which buckling and material failure are effectively triggered simultaneously, and an initially sharp reduction in the load carrying capacity is seen.